Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the differential dy of a given function. In this case, y equals x plus 3 over 2x minus 7. When we refer to dy, um, you can think of it as the numerator portion of the expression dy dx. dy dx is equal to the derivative of whatever function of x that you've been given. So when they ask you for dy, all they want is your derivative expression multiplied by dx. So in this case, for example, dy dx we would find using the quotient rule. The quotient rule tells us the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. In this case, that would give us dy dx equals the bottom, 2x minus 7, times the derivative of the top, but the derivative of x is 1 and 3 is 0, so it's just going to be 1 minus the top, x plus 3, times the derivative of the bottom. Uh, the derivative of 2x is 2, and the derivative of negative 7 is 0, so it's just 2 over the bottom squared, 2x minus 7 squared. So dy dx is equal to, we would distribute and combine like terms. Here we have 2x minus 7, and here we distribute the negative and the 2. That's going to give us negative 2x minus 6. 2x minus 2x cancels, and we've changed it to a plus when we distributed the negative. So negative 7 plus negative 6 is negative 13. So we have dy dx is negative 13 over 2x minus 7 quantity squared. So this is what you would normally do, use the quotient rule to find the derivative, but they want the differential. So all that means is we're essentially thinking of it as moving the dx over to the other side. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please remember to like it. This helps other students find the video.